Hey there, derps and dilps. Today we got a Hokkaido Plateau. So what are we gonna do? Well, of course we're gonna got our fantastic little testicle right in the middle. How are we gonna do this? Well, we're gonna ride the lightning, my friends. We're gonna ride the lightning all over the place and get some magic towers kind of spread out throughout the map. Of course, magic is nice to get. But I also do want to stop a lot of these sledder guys before they start sliding on ice. And that means I'm going to use my barracks tower right there. And with most of my reinforcements, I could just put them in the way and hopefully upgrade some magic up there as well. And they should they should die fairly quickly, I, I hope, before they start, obviously, sledding all over the place. That's not fun to have to deal with sledders everywhere. And we're going to have Hacksaw be uh, doing a lot of hand attacking over in this corner here, hopefully to get him up a few levels really darn quick. We, of course, want him to go up a bunch of levels so we can get really, really good and start screwing people by the end of the game. And I know that sounds very naughty and evil and bad, but it's true. He screws them to death. I mean, maybe it's a drill. You can give, you know, call it a drill if you want to. But oh my goodness, wolves. Oh, whoa. <sighs> Guys, I'm sorry. I just sold myself. Those wolves were just about to get through, and I just, I couldn't hold it in. I just, it just, it leaked out. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't want it to be this way, but it is this way. We are already on round three. Way three. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, this seems to be going fairly fantastic, actually. Getting plethora, a plethora of gold, a plethora of trolls dying, a plethora of everything going exactly the way we want it to. Except for the fact of this evil troll right here trying to sneak out through, but my reinforcements are like, well, Zayn, you ain't getting through this, you ain't getting through this, no way, Jose. And a few more sledders trying to come down the top here. It seems like my testicle is doing a pretty darn good job as well, as most of the magic towers are actually attacking the sledders. Though I must say that if the sledders do get past my testicle or slash magic tower down in the bot, like middle right side there. I don't know if you guys can understand that. It's going to be not a fun time at all. Uh, we pretty much lose the game. That's the best way I can put it. Because the sledders will just be impossible to stop. I mean, how are you, gonna, you can't put guys in the way. You can't do anything. You can try and rain a fire them, I suppose. But that's probably not going to work out very well at all. And by the time you realize that the rain of fire does take a few, like, not a few seconds, but maybe three-fourths of a second or so to actually, like, come down. And that does matter. That actually does uh, matter just a little bit. So this is going mostly magic now. You can tell I got a bunch of third tier magic as well as an arcane wizard. Normally I try and spam billions of uh, these testicles, but I don't think it's going to be necessary today. I'd much rather go with the magic. Magic for the win. The main reason is, is I don't see that many fantastic spots for test the coils. I could put one more where the magic is on the bottom there. I could put one more there. But I already built magic and I'm just like, eh, don't matter anymore. Don't matter anymore. Let's just get some salad magic damage anyways, and we'll be we'll be okay. You can tell these guys are actually dying really, really quickly. The trolls are not good versus anything. You just have to do damage to them. So I actually am really liking these arcane wizards because they're doing damage really quickly before they regenerate and stuff like that. But a troll chieftain is obviously hard to kill, and he makes the other trolls even more dangerous, so you gotta be careful with those guys, because they can, you know, he can beat his drum, and the guys just think everything's okay, and just try and run right through your defense. So I've got a lot of reinforcements in the middle here, as well as I got a barracks down, just to the right of my testicle there. And the reason why I did that was because I, I was just afraid of the sledders. I, I didn't want to have them run through my defense and just be dead, you know, just be deadly. Just well, Obviously, I only have one life, so if I lost a life in, like, a regular game, I wouldn't care too much. But today, today, my friends, I do care, as you can tell with my poopy pants that I'm wearing right now. Well, I wear a diaper, so, I mean, that's obviously a little bit helpful to wear, wear a diaper. It's not going to be too much of a mess to clean up, but still, at the same time, you'd much rather just not have to clean up a mess at all. You wouldn't want those wolves to come out and try and kill you. So I ended up going with something that I don't normally do, or realistically, almost never do. I went with a Big Bertha instead of a Tesla coil. Now, one of these guys actually good? Well, I kind of did it more for just fun, rather than like an, oh my god, this is amazing. But I felt like I did a lot of Arcane Wizards, which I don't normally do, instead of spamming more testicles. So I figured, you know what, what's the best thing to do? Maybe I'll just get one Big Bertha. Those guys can also get a Sledder if they do end up leaking through. Hopefully a Big Bertha missile, one of those Dragon Breath launcher things, would shoot up and randomly kill them. And at least that's what I was thinking. But it is already level 6, and it looks like nothing bad has been happening so far, so I'm not really expecting too many bad things to happen. I guess I'll just stall a few of these guys, let my Big Bertha do the work, as well as my all my Death Rays. Yes, I got Death Rays, believe it or not. 
billions of death rays. We got four death rays up the wazoo over here. And what that basically does is that any of these stronger guys, I should be able to death ray them one by the time they uh, get rid of all these other weak guys. As well as killing some of those other ones. Death rays are not that important to my strategy, but hey, if you can get them and they help out just a little bit, alright, especially when we kill these big strong guys. <laughs> but if you can tell, when four, we have four of them, they technically happen about every five seconds. So that adds up pretty darn quickly to the amount of destruction that you can get. So slowly, just going to clean up these last few guys. Hopefully you did enjoy this one. If you did, please press the like button, because I appreciate it a bunch. If you didn't, let me know why in the comments. Thanks for watching, and have a super duper delicious day.